Sup y'all, today we're going to be reviewing MyFitnessPal and if it's still the king of calorie counting apps. So without further ado, let's get right into this review. All right, so let's just get right into it, shall we? By the way, I did go ahead and skip the questionnaire part just because I would rather have that be something that you guys do on your own. And it's also because it can become quite a bit repetitive at the same time. Hey, if you like seeing me do the questionnaire every time I review an app, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. All right, so if we look here on the top left corner, if we tap on that, as you can see, my name is Pons or whatever, just because I wanted to get right into the app right away. Obviously here in your profile, well, it will be your name obviously here where it says go premium you can see that it is obviously their promotion of the app then here you can see it says zero pounds lost and if you tap on that you can obviously track your progress in this case your steps it will show you your average your best and your total and obviously here towards the bottom it will show you your other data and here on the top you can change the date range and your options are one week one month two months three months six months one year or all whatever that means and if you go ahead and tap on steps here at the top you can change that whether you want your measurements to be by steps weight neck waist or your hips not really sure how that works but we're not going to get into that let's just go back real quick and obviously here at the top another promotion and on the top right hand corner you can see you can check your notifications which is obviously where you will see your notifications <laughs> and right here on the dashboard you can obviously check the stats of your calories mine currently says 1395 remaining even though my total is 1500 i'll show you guys why that is in a bit on the right you can see your base goal which is 1500 that's what i put on my stats for the questionnaire whereas yours is obviously going to be different unless you just so happen to be 1500 as well right below that you can check your food 105 means what i tracked which again i'll show you in a minute 105 is the amount of calories of what i tracked earlier while i was testing this app and below that you can check the calories uh, burned through exercise, which again, whenever you're using any sort of app, never tell the app that you're doing exercise because those are usually never accurate. Then when you swipe to the right, you can see you can check your macros, but you got to go premium in order to use that. And when you swipe, you can see heart healthy. Don't know what that means. And you can check your low carb stats. All these are features that you can check if you decide to upgrade. Here you can track your steps either using your phone with your device's built in motion process or you can add a step tracker if you have one or you can choose to not track your steps at all here you can check your exercise that you are doing on a daily basis and how many calories you burned but like i said never use that feature and over here towards the bottom you can check your progress throughout the week you can check your steps as well which is the same thing as the feature that we just checked out right here if we look here towards the bottom you can search for food and if we do that what i did search earlier which is what i said i was going to explain to you i'm going to explain now I added a banana and it's about 105 gals as you can see in my history every time you add something in this app it is going to be added to your history and when it's added to your history it is added there for the sake of convenience that way you don't have to track what you're eating all the time especially if it's the same thing you ate before well let's try something else let's try an apple for our example let's choose the one at the top 104 calories one medium go ahead and press the plus button add for breakfast now we press cancel and as you can see, if I wanted to add another apple again, it is now in my history. And if I wanted to add it, just simply look under history, press the plus button. Now you have another apple. Okay, now here to the right hand side to where you were able to search for food. That's the barcode scanner. And if you tap on that, as you can see, you have to now upgrade, which really sucks because before that feature was absolutely free. Now you have to upgrade in order to use it. But if you did for whatever reason wanted to upgrade, it's going to be 80 bucks a year or 20 bucks a month in my opinion never pay for an app okay it's seriously not worth it there are a ton of other options that give these features for free and they're not even as popular yet offer them for free crazy i know all right so let's go ahead and go back to the scanning features and see what we got here so you can see we here at the top you can obviously add um you know what that meal was for in this case it was for breakfast but you can obviously change it if it was for lunch dinner or if it was a snack you can check my meals another feature my recipes my 
foods, a bunch of features that are, I would say, interesting, but not necessary. When you are counting calories, just keep the process simple and straightforward. All right, so here you can scan a meal, which is a feature that you need to upgrade in order to use, which is interesting. I'm assuming this is you can take a picture of what you're eating and it just tells you how many cows it is. I highly doubt that works, but maybe I'll test that out in a future video. I would love to see that. And here right beside that, you can scan a barcode, which again, like I said, you used to be able to do that before on this app. Now you can't unless you upgrade. So my fitness pal, if you're watching this video, go back to that old feature. It sucks not having to be able to use that feature anymore. I don't know why you guys did this. I understand it's to, you know, make more moolah, but come on, you know, that's what the people want. We want free. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. And obviously right beside that, you can check the quick ad feature, which I'm assuming. Yep. Just as I thought you need to upgrade to use. Okay. So, um, I think that's about it. Now this is our dashboard, which we are just looking at. Now, if we look at our diary you can check here, right here on the top hand corner, you can obviously edit your meals and whatnot. Then over here where it says today, you can actually go back. Like you can check what you ate yesterday. You can actually track stuff that you'd want to eat tomorrow, which, you know, that's a feature um, I, I used to do. I used to use all the time and still do if it is available to me. It's really good to do things ahead of time. That way it's super convenient for you and you don't have to think about it. And as you can see here, wait, what is this at the top right hand corner? Okay. You can say if you're done tracking for the day, if you would like to. So here you can see 1500 is our goal. You can see how many calories we have currently consumed. Those are exercise. Never use that feature. <laughs> I'm going to keep on repeating myself and obviously how many more calories you have left for the day. Here under breakfast, you can check what we had, which as you know, we tracked a banana and an apple. Before when you when you tap here at the on the top where it says calories remaining, if you tap on that area, yeah, you can see your macronutrients here. And like I said before, it used to show way more details than this, but apparently it only shows you, it only shows you, I would say all you need to know, your carbs, your fat, and your protein, at least in terms of weight loss. But you know, before you before you used to be able to check a whole bunch of stuff like your potassium, your sodium, what else? Your saturated fat, all that stuff. But now you can't unless you upgrade. And if we go here, where it says nutrients, okay, I take back everything I just said. So <laughs> you can actually check it here still. I'm glad they still kept that. So everything I just said a minute ago, ignore that. <laughs> you still can, which is great. I'm glad they kept that here. And under calories is obviously going to be your calorie and over here at the bottom you can obviously check news feed and plans and more which has a lot of other you know features here that you can check out we're not going to look at that i think that's about all we need to know so what do i like about the app well i gotta be honest there isn't much just because ever since they updated the app there's you're really limited to what you can do what i would have said if they kept the feature was it was going to be the barcode scanner because it was one of the best and one of the fastest barcode scanners I've ever used among every other app. But since it's not there, that's really unfortunate. But anyway, what do I like about the app? I guess the only thing I like about the app is the fact that here under the, di the diary tab, it's pretty clean and straightforward. I mean, it shows you how many cows you need for the day and how many you have remaining, plus how many cows you currently ate. Fairly simple to see what you ate as well whether that was for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And honestly, I think that's about it. Though, I could say one more thing. The questionnaire, which I didn't show you guys, but wasn't as long compared to a lot of other apps. Some apps questionnaires are excruciatingly long and boring. And in most cases, their questions are completely unrelated to weight loss. So with my fitness pal, it was pretty short. I wanna say it was pretty on topic, I guess you could say, and that's about it. So pretty much the diary section of the app I like and the questionnaire, eh, not bad. Now, what do I not like about the app? Well, honestly, there's a lot. So first of all, I do not like that this app has so much promotion, bro. Like it's literally everywhere. Like on the dashboard, it's at the top. When you scroll down a bit, you can see right here where it keeps showing the ads. It's again, another promotion. And then right here in the diary tab, another promotion. Right here, another promotion. Right here at the top right hand corner, another the promotion like it just keeps going it's like all right guys i get the point not convinced otherwise so that's one thing i don't like and i don't know there's just so many things here that limit you that just makes the overall app i don't really want to say bad but it's just so inconvenient
convenient. So yeah, and the number one thing I would say I don't like about this app is the fact that you gotta upgrade in order to use the barcode scanner, which seriously sucks. I can't even begin to tell you how much that sucks because a majority of things that we eat a lot of the times have barcodes. And if you wanted to track those calories, using the barcode is one of the easiest ways to do it. That's not the only way, but it's an easy way to do it. So the fact that you can't use the barcode scanner on this app is uh, seriously unfortunate. And also the fact that I'm not able to use that. I can't track things in a way where I can, you know, like if I were measuring rice, either measure it by grams or ounces. So yeah. All right. So final thoughts. Would I keep my fitness pal on my phone for tracking calories? I think that if you are solely just going for numbers, meaning like, hey, how many calories are in a banana? 105. Boom. Done. It's on the app. It's good enough, especially if you don't really care about macronutrients or micronutrients. If you don't really care about looking at looking at all those things and just care about the calorie numbers, it's decent. But if you're the opposite of that, this is, is definitely like it's there, but you really got to be like somewhat familiar with the app in order to find that. But even with that said, I don't recommend this app specifically if you're that kind of person. So I would probably look somewhere else. I got to be honest with you guys. For me personally, not having the barcode scanner is a huge negative for me. So yeah, no, I definitely wouldn't keep this app on my phone. But would I recommend it to any of you guys? Going back to what I said earlier, if you're someone who just cares about the caloric numbers, yeah, you can keep it. You can download it. It's totally fine. It's doable. But if you want something that's more in depth, especially without having to upgrade and pay for it, I would advise you to look somewhere else. So there you have it, guys. That is the app My Fitness Pal. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, go ahead and let me know by giving this video a like, comment down below. And hey, while you're at it, subscribe if you want to support the channel. Plus, it's free. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.